Hi, my name is Annie Copps. I'm the food editor at Yankee Magazine, and welcome to my kitchen. Okay, I always say that I'm making my favorite recipe, but this really is one of my favorites. It's my mom's meatloaf. And growing up, my mom wanted nothing to do with meatloaf. There was no tuna casserole, and so we would beg, Mom, 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 please. Maybe if there was a babysitter or, God forbid, there was an illness in the family, a neighbor would send over a meatloaf. But it wasn't until I was about 20 years old that my mom started making meatloaf, and this is going to knock meatloaf out of the park. Her secret is she uses pork, ground beef, sausage, and bacon. Yeah, you're going to need a nap after this. So let's get started. I start, or mom starts, with about three slices of bread. This is white bread. This is country bread. It's airy and dense at the same time. And I'm going to soak it in milk, and that is really going to add a nice richness to it. So just pour the milk right over the top. Okay, so a key ingredient to any recipe is being set up and ready to go. Read your recipe first, then get all your ingredients ready to go. Um, mise en place, that's what the professional chefs call it. So one of the things that we need is one onion, finely diced. Here's a trick for it. I've got some of it already chopped already. Here's your half onion peeled. You want to make horizontal slices in the onion half, and the onion's really steady because it's been cut in half. Very gently. And then... The other way, thin slices. Now, kind of gather it together, and we cut again. And there you have it. Nice, thin slices. Now, you might have to run your knife back over it for some of these runaways, but that's okay. Yeah, you can see those runaways on the side over there. Okay, we'll just set that into a nice bowl. I love getting all kinds of small bowls set up and ready to go. Okay, there we go. We're going to need three eggs. Now, I like to beat them together beforehand. That way, when they go into the meatloaf, you're not going to get a pocket of egg here and a pocket of egg there. So again, cracking it on a flat surface. And three eggs. And then with a fork, poke those yolks and then give it a nice beat. Okay, set that aside. The next thing that we want to do is we want to get our meats going. Okay, into a large bowl, I have a half a pound of ground pork. I have a whole pound of ground beef. Now, mom likes to use chorizo, but I use sweet Italian sausage, about a half a pound. Now, I took the casing off of those other ones because that's not going to help our meatloaf in any way. And the way you do it is you just hold one in and squeeze it out, just like that. It's kind of yucky. And there you have it. There's that casing. We'll just set that aside. Next, we're going to add some ketchup, which adds loads and loads of flavor and a nice richness to it. About a quarter cup of chopped parsley, some sage, rosemary, and thyme. And you could also use the same amount of Italian seasoning. That onion that we so nicely chopped, those eggs, a bit of salt to draw out all these great flavors that we're mixing together. And now we go back to this milk-soaked bread. You want to just take, give it a gentle squeeze, and put it right on top. There you go. So it's still nice and wet. Get this guy out of the way. Get in there with your hands. Now this is something that kids like to do, and grown-ups like me, or grown-up kids like me. And just really, really work it together, squeezing all these ingredients. Okay, so we're going to form this into a loaf. It's a very, very wet mixture, but just kind of plop it onto an aluminum foil lined baking sheet. And we have the aluminum foil on there so you don't ruin your baking sheet. Okay, so it's kind of one big mass there. Now get in there again with your hands and just form it. If you make it very long and thin, it'll cook more quickly. If you make it short and squat, it'll cook a little bit more slowly. So there you go. I think that that's a nice shape. This makes terrific leftover meatloaf sandwiches. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands off and get some bacon to put on the top. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I have three slices of thick cut bacon. This is unflavored bacon, but if you like maple or hickory, knock yourself out. Right on the top there. And this is just gonna add more flavor and more moisture to this already super flavorful, super moist meatloaf. Into a 350 degree oven, it's gonna go for about 45 minutes. So here it is out of the oven, still nice and warm, and because I'm the cook, I get the coveted end piece. That's quite good. For this recipe, plus a whole lot more, visit us at yankeemagazine.com.